Hey, what's up students? So the audio did not record on this video, so I'm going to be recording it as I'm watching myself go over it. So this is more of an audio commentary. So here we go. We're doing the right gooder pen. Looks like X is going to be how much the workers are paid for daily labor and Y is how much managers are paid for daily supervision. You've created functions for each power plant. So there's power plant A, B, and C. So it looks like I'm talking about that. What is the total production of all three plants? Write it in terms of number times X plus number times Y. So let's combine all the X values. Looks like that's what I'm doing. Look at, look at that. Isn't that nice? Very, very nice. Combine all the like terms. So when you combine the 365, the 195, and the 285X, you get 845X plus... When you add the y values of 7, 3, and 5, you end up with 15y. So your answer is 845x plus 15y. Make sure you type it with no spaces. All right, what am I going to do next? Am I explaining some more stuff? Let's move on. We get it. Audio commentary. Watching myself do a math problem. This is really fun. And also trying to guess what I'm saying. This, I'm guessing, hey, if x equals 125 and y equals 425, what is the total cost of daily production for all three plants? So I'm guessing you would substitute the 125 in for x. Is that what I'm going to do right there? Yes, nice. Good job, me. And then I'm going to go 15 times 425. All right, another good move by myself. Good job, math teacher. I must have calculated it already. It's a big old number, 112,000. Holy cow, that's a lot of that's a lot to that's a lot of money just for production costs. Hopefully, you are making things that sell and make more money than that per day. Otherwise, your business is uh, not working. All right, what's next? Oh, we're trying to figure out which plant costs the most to operate. So I'm erasing all of that noise. Um, so right away, it looks like. I'm weeding out plant B because it's got the least workers and the least managers. So yeah, obviously the, the plant that has the least amount of people is probably going to cost you the least amount of money. So now it's between plant A and C. And it looks like plant A is the winner because it's got more workers and it's got more managers. Um, pretty obvious landslide there because it's got both it's got more of both items, but there might be a toss-up. Like you might have a plant that has more than the other one, but uh, not in this case. It looks like plant A is the number one winner. It has most in both. Okay. You might have to guess and check if there's like a, a draw or a tie where one has more workers and the other one has more managers. So guess and check till you get there, but you'll be fine. That's probably what I'm explaining right now. So quick review, combine like terms. Substitute X and Y, plug in numbers, and then you get an answer. And then you might want to figure out which plant costs the most money, dollars and stuff. What else am I trying to explain? I think that's about it. All right, students, see you in class. Bye-bye.